so did everyone get a chance to share their high-low buffaloes? Okay, I'll just talk into it like it's on, even though it isn't on. Is this on? Got it. Okay. I really appreciate the buffalo language because I just picture like a buffalo like charging through your life and like doing something unexpected. And that's like when I think about what it was my buffalo. It's like this buffalo just charged through my yard and it's like very unexpected, right? Yeah. Who would see a buffalo here? Anyway. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving um, and are still feeling full. I know for me, I was like so full. I don't remember feeling that full for a long time. It felt very good. But um, so this morning, instead of jumping into Advent, we are going to dwell a little longer in the theme of Thanksgiving and give ourselves some space to just ponder and learn. Um, instead of giving ourselves space to ponder and learn through a Jesus story like we usually do, uh, we're going to make space to actually practice something Jesus has invited us into through a gratitude exercise. Um, so the Webster's definition of gratitude, if anyone is interested, is the state of being grateful, which I thought was really challenging to think about, um, that it's sort of like a state of being, is being grateful, not just like saying a, a something that you're grateful for or um, remembering something you're grateful for, but sort of like it's sort of an all-encompassing, feels more like a lifestyle like something where a way of being, if that makes sense. But all of those, um, if we want to get to that sort of lifestyle or way of being, we have to start with practices and disciplines. And um, so that's where we're going to start this morning. Um, in the book of uh, Thessalonians, it's going to be where our like kind of uh, our verse for the day comes from. Uh, Thessalonians is a book in the New Testament. It's written by Paul, who's a church leader over. Um, a lot of the churches at the time, and he's giving some final instructions to other church leaders in the city of Thessalonica. And um, I think it's really interesting to think like what were Paul's parting words to different churches, and this is included in that parting word. So the verse says, um, to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And that comes from 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Um, coincidentally, I happen to have that verse on a board at my house. So this was Kara's suggestion, the verse for today. So this was not planned. But this verse has been <laughs> on the wall of my house, I think I remember since Thanksgiving 2018. So for a while, it's lived in different states at this point. It moved from Florida to here in this same position. <laughs> um, and I, at the time, I was homeschooling my kids, and we were doing like a memory verse. And so this was like the memory verse for November. I felt motivated to put it on a board and like do the whole thing, which if any of you have done this board before, it's kind of tedious <laughs> to put them on there. So I don't know what I was thinking of doing one every month anyway, but that was my goal at the time. But it never left the board from November 2018 until now. So some of that is my own sort of um, apathy, I'm sure. But some of them, some of that is just I felt really challenged by the verse, and I wasn't ready to take it off the board. I felt like I'm not living into this verse, and I'm, I don't want to take it off the board yet. So it's still here. <laughs> and um, I think if we're honest, like our circumstances in our lives are always changing. Even from one moment to the next, circumstances can change so quickly. And circumstances in the world around us certainly change quickly as well. Some for the better, and some in more challenging ways. And this call to give thanks in all circumstances feels really unnatural at times, especially in the midst of difficult circumstances. And if, I'm, if I bring myself to actually do it in those times, it can feel a lot like working out feels to me, just plain hard. I don't know if anyone else has that feeling about working out, but if it just feels very unnatural and hard to like have something difficult around you and to pause and say, okay, what can I actually give thanks for right now? Very, very, very challenging words. And I think the language around this being God's will for us to give thanks is very strong language too. Not many things in scripture explicitly say this is God's will for you, which is another reason this verse has stayed on my board for so long. Um, trying to press into the truth here and living with gratitude, trying to make it a state of being um, in, and trying to align myself with God's will and his heart in some distinct way. And I'm certainly still living far from this truth, but this, this verse has been a needed gift to me in hard seasons and in seasons of joy to say, okay, what can I say thanks for right now? And so I'm not sure how each of you are coming into this morning and, or how the holiday was for you, 
or just how the last few days have been for you, but I want to invite us all into this practice of gratitude this morning. So we're going to work on growing our Thanksgiving muscles, and together we're going to take time to write cards. So I know that sounds maybe sort of elementary, but I don't know about you guys, I think that I have lots of ambitions to write thank you cards and sort of think about people I could write them to, but it's hard to actually do it. Does anyone else struggle to actually do it? Okay, not just me. So we have a whole box of blank cards and you can literally, you can write it to anyone, your grandma, your high school math teacher, your neighbor, literally anyone, it doesn't matter. Or if you don't feel like you have inspiration to write it to someone in particular. We also have this sheet that Kara is passing out that you could write a note on behalf of North City to some of the people that work here at Weber or just other places in the city that um, help us accomplish what we're doing here. So that's also an option as well. Um, so that's really what we're doing this morning is we're just trying to grow our gratitude muscles and um, grow into a state of being, of giving thanks. And we're going to write cards together. There's nothing more prescriptive than that. So I'm gonna put the cards out and pens and you can just grab as many as you want. We have like 150 cards, so don't hesitate. You can write multiple cards. <laughs> and if you do write to one of the partners on here, we'll take care of mailing it and those sorts of things for you. Um, so is that good? Okay, let's grow our muscles together.